Hi guys, how are you? Good morning. Uh, this is your girl Frida and today I'm going to talk about something else. Someone else who has succeeded in business. Yesterday I analyzed um, Aliko Dangote and uh, Mark Zuckerberg, the owner of Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram. And it was evident that you need to embrace technology. Today I'm going to talk an uh, about another technology guru. I'm going to talk about the owner and the founder of Zoom. His name is Eric S. Yuan. I'm not so sure if most of you knows him, but I know we have used and interacted with Zoom in one way or another one. Now, let me give you a bit of his background story. This guy was not new into failure. He tried um, applying for a um, U.S. Um, visa, and he was denied. He was actually rejected the first time. But guess what? He did not give up. He tried, retried, and on the ninth time, that is when he was granted the visa. So he he tried eight times, and he never gave up. Now, when he went to the U.S., on his own story, there was an interview that, um, what was the name? Someone did for him. And he said that the reason why he moved to U.S. is because of internet. He knew that was the wave of the future. So he decided, no, I am not staying here. I am going to the U.S. Now, when he joined um, U.S., of course, he got a very good job, definitely. And um, the last time he was working for Cisco. That is when he decided to do um, Zoom. And that time, even his own wife did not support him. Because, you see, the wife was asking herself, why would this man leave a very good job at Cisco to go to a startup whose future is uncertain? Other platforms like Skype, who had the same conferencing, dwarfed his, 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 whatever, his idea. And that time he had also presented to the executives and no one supported him. So, he me persisted. He launched Zoom in 2012. Today, seven years later, Zoom, Zoom has more than 100 million downloads. Over 30,000 companies using it. And presently, it's worth $36 billion. <laughs> you had me. Only seven years. And by the way, he didn't move alone. He moved with people with the same vision with him. He moved with people who motivated him. His story is really motivating because he even says that when he founded Zoom and uh, people uh, who were rejecting his business, he personally wrote to them emails to ask them why they are rejecting that business. He took it upon himself, even as the founder and the CEO, to handle his customers. Customers is key. So anyway, with that story, two things stands out. Number one, it is okay to fail. So long as you keep trying. Number two, not trying because of failure was a no to him. Those are the two things that came out for when I read his story. Now, which lessons do you take home? As that person, that person probably you're thinking that you're not able, you might not be able to invent something like as big as Zoom. That person that you feel like, no, you've not yet uh, uh, like reached a level where you want to do something. And today I'm going to tell you that the right time to start is now. That idea that you've been having, actualize it. Keep trying. Keep trying. 
Maybe I can just extract some things that I personally feel like I should encourage you on using uh, um, one story. Number one, the journey is long and rough, but it is also fun and exciting. Go for it. That idea that you've been having, actualize it. It might be rough when you're starting, but with time, enjoy the journey. And that's why I keep on telling people passion. Have passion in whatever you're doing. Number two, most important thing in your entrepreneurship life or journey is to start right. If you're thinking of maybe starting that business, start right. Everything else will fall in place. Number three, find people who will motivate you. Find people who would like to invest on you, not only your business. Remember, it is a relationship um, a, a business. Even if it's a customer a relationship, it is take it as personal relationship. Take care of that person. So if you're getting into any business, remember to create relationships. Number four, keep trying and never give up. Failure is inevitable in all sectors. Failure is inevitable. Keep trying. Be persistent. Be consistent. And trust me, with time you're going to see the results. Anyway, that marks the end of today's uh, talk. And um, I'm going to uh, ask you to like my page. Uh, follow me on Facebook, uh, Frida Keitan. On um, YouTube channel, Frida Keitan. Uh, I'm also on Twitter and I'm also on Instagram. So I will be sharing this information in all my social media platforms. And I'm so sure you're going to learn something. Have a good day.